Record on this computer. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Word Bros. Hello, my name is Bob. I'm Kevin. And you're not eating hot stuff today. I'm, I'm glad. That's good. I haven't eaten hot stuff in like two days. So Really? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that, not because like, I mean, I like hot stuff, but I mean, I don't like, man, let me tell you what you will do to get a Kickstarter funded. Yes. I, will, I will drink ghost pepper hot sauce. That, that's apparently, that's apparently where my limits lie. Well, <laughs> we all got to go somewhere, right? You know, I, I mean, you're going to go, some people will go far. I mean, they'll go further than that. We all got to go where our talents lie, friend. If if somebody had a taser, I'd be like, stupid human tricks, tase me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I'd be afraid you'd have a heart attack and die. Um, that would be my concern. That I'd have a heart attack? I don't know. It depends on how much how much they were tasing. Like, it's got to be a hundred bucks for tasers. It sounds like a comic. Like, you, you have a heart attack and die from tasing yourself, from trying to fund your Kickstarter. I am forced to raise your son as my own. <laughs> And then stupid human tricks cause yes. cause or or cause orphans to happen. Your son then uh, promises to avenge the death of his father on Kickstarter. On like Kickstarter, he's, he's, he's gonna kickstart. He's gonna kickstart. He's his gonna revenge. kickstart an ass whipping <laughs> for the man who killed you, who forced like, you to do it. He becomes the Iron Fist. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man. So we are in the teeth. We are in the middle of this monster of a project uh, before we continue thank you to bleeding cool uh they they have a nice little piece about us out right now thank you to geek.com they have a nice little they have a nice little piece about us out right now thank you again to geek.com because they mentioned us last week in kickstarters that you should back um nerd perfect strangers also um wrote something nice about us we've been getting unbelievable amounts of goodwill from the comic book community we have we have but goodwill does not pay the bills my friend well let's not be let's i don't you know i don't want this to turn into like hey you know fuck you guys <laughs> no it's not that i'm teasing. I know, i'm kidding i'm teasing um, yeah, but you know, I, it's it's but we've gotten an incredible amount of goodwill. I've been getting new Twitter followers and new Facebook friends like by yes, by the handful every day. So and I have to check them and I go, I don't know this person and I have to go look and I was actually uh You doing, do that too? <laughs> yeah, I check. I have to go check them out to make sure that I'm not like friending somebody who's an asshole. Or just some um, crazy racist. <laughs> yeah, like I don't want to be friends with anybody that's a crazy racist or, or mad Trump supporter or anything like that. That's not that doesn't line up with my personal agenda, and we would not really be friends. So, yeah, I've been I've been doing that too. I'm glad to hear you've been doing it. And like I have a I have a line too. It's like yeah, you know what? You may you're getting there. So, um, you know what? I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like I look at it and I go I don't know. That rebel flag is kind of a questionable in your background. <laughs> I am not saying yes. No, we can't be. I don't think we'd be friends. IRL, we would not be friends. So there's no point in this. You're just friending me because you saw Metal Shark Bro. Or you want me to like your Facebook page. <laughs> yes. Or you want me to back your Kickstarter, which is cool. Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. But like, you could just ask. Yeah. You could just ask. You don't have to be, we don't have to be friends. You could be like, hey, you got five bucks to throw up my Kickstarter. Sure. Yeah, and I will gladly do that. Like, yeah, me too. You know? Yeah, um, we're, we're very, we're very, uh, we're very, kick I mean, I'm, I'll back, I back lots of Kickstarters. I know. So, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm anti, if your stuff looks cool, I pretty much, if it's, I don't even have a genre, spe like, specifically in mind. If your shit looks good, I'll back it. I'm like, yeah. oh, this looks awesome. I'll back yeah. it. Yeah, I think lots of people have a good attitude when it comes to Kickstarters. And I mean, people have a, a good attitude when it comes to Metal Shark Bro. I mean, we're 11 people away at the time of recording from 400 backers. We're at, Which is a lot. Yeah, we're at $14,000, man. That's Considering insane. we're nobody. Just think about that. We're yeah. nobody and we got, and we, we've raised a decent amount of money. So I'm pretty proud of us, even if things go south yes i am i am also proud of us in failure so <laughs> we're, we're working on it it's coming we're doing our best 
Um, we're it's it's moving. I mean, it's it's definitely much different than we thought it would be. Um, this is kind of how I thought it would go. Is it? Yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't think we'd rock it past the um, the final amount. I didn't think we would, you know, burst through the glass ceiling and you know. I figured we would slodge it out and we'd get close. And I mean, I think on the trajectory that we're on, we're slodging it out. We're getting close. Uh, I'm running out of things to tweet. I'm running out of things to, to Facebook post about this thing. You're running out of razors because it's shaved. Like no, a I'm, yeah. You know what? It's funny. You should mention that. Um, <laughs> uh, my wife and I were just hanging out in the bedroom uh, before bed one night. And she's like, you kind of have a beard. And I was like, huh? And she's like, you kind of have a beard. You kind of do. And I was like, I do I? And she was like, yeah, you kind of have like a, like a beard. And I was like, okay. She's like, I kind of like it. And I said, all right. So I didn't shave. Oh, I was going to say, you look like a, a less, a less douchey, older James, James Franco. That's cool. I'm going for that. <laughs> I'm just, I actually was going for more douchey James Franco, so I missed the mark a little you bit. Did miss it by uh, a little bit, but I don't know. I'm probably not going to keep it. It's not really much of a beard. I'm in. I'm sitting. It looks good. I'm sitting in a lot of shadow right now, so I think the shadow enhances the beard. Uh, it's got some patches still. Oh yeah, it, it is a little patchy. It's a little patchy, but believe it or not, it's not as patchy as it once was. But Stephanie was like, hey, you've got kind of a beard. And I was like, all right, well, I'll keep it for a little while. I think she was just being nice to me because Kickstarter is, you know. Is, you know is, do, is, 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 is beating you up right now? Well, whatever, man. I mean, I'm, again, I'm happy. And I, I mean, I, do I want to get funded? Of course, because I want to make yes, this. We, we all do. The, th the, the Well, the five of us do. There's five of us on the book, technically. All of us. I mean, Chaz has tweeted stuff. You've tweeted yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, where uh, Sean's tweeted or uh, Facebook stuff I've seen. I, he doesn't tweet anymore, I don't think. I, don't, I haven't seen him on Twitter in a long time. Um, <clears throat> Walt, and we're all working hard to try and get this thing done. So but then at some point, though, it's like, this is like where and how do you, how do you get it out there? Because like we've bought um facebook ads and we tried that and we bought b post boosts and we've tried that and like how do you how do you get it out there like how do you get how do you further spread your message like on 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 when we bought facebook ads we also bought instagram ads because they come together and we got a lot we got a lot of likes on instagram like that one post that we put up on because we actually have a metal shark bro instagram now you can go to instagram and search metal shark bro and it's there which is kind of cool um but the one post we put up that we that we sponsored that we boosted has like 600 has 600 likes but i don't think any of those turned into purchases backers yes, yes yeah. if that makes sense and that's i think, I think email lists i think that's where we need to start <laughs> focusing and I, it's weird to say that but i mean i think that that's because no one's going to give you their email if they don't really like your shit it's true so it's true. so you just ask and if they're like nah then they don't really want to nah, follow what you're doing, and that's okay and that's okay too like no one the cool thing about <laughs> here's one thing i'll say about us as comic creators that i think is cool and most comic creators that i see um if you're like if they're like oh can i get your email and they're like nah they're like okay cool it's not a big deal but nah, if you're son. like yeah like I'm, I'm interested in seeing more stuff you do that's cool like it's just that, that with me personally i'm not going to sign the way i am i'm not going to sign up for it i don't need any more junk in my email box it takes me long enough to get through what i already got <laughs> yo can i get your email no nah, son no nah, son word <laughs> word all right <laughs> But I mean, we're trying. We've gotten a lot of likes. We've gotten a lot of new followers. We've gotten a lot of retweets. We've gotten a lot of stuff. It's just, how do you convert those over? And like, are we, are we at the end of our collective reach? Like, is this it? Like, is, have we expanded our audience to its maximum um, I well, guess? To be fair, like 400 people is a lot of people and it's more than, than the fourth the fourth rule that we talked about because we, we I had read somewhere and we talked about this at the beginning of the Kickstarter that that basically you can count on a fourth of like your Twitter followers to back 
your stuff and then a fourth of that is the actual number so that would have been for the three of us a maximum of like 200 and some odd people so we've almost doubled that i have 2356 followers so you do a fourth of that I'm at 2,081 or something. So it's like a fourth. It's like a fourth and then a fourth. So it's actually yep, like you fourth it twice. Yeah, it's, so like, it's like an eighth. Eighth, yeah, an, eighth an eighth, basically. It's yeah. an eighth of your Twitter followers. See, so because they say like the the fourth is the the eighth is what you can count on, and the fourth is what what is potential. So I don't know. I've I don't know. I've read all kinds of things. I know that we're working at it. We're we're trying it. I just I I'm just tired of tweeting about it. <laughs> I feel like we're bothering people and I said that on uh Yeah, know. so did I. I so did I, but I mean, how else are we going to do it? Like how else is this going to happen, you know? On Garrett's, yeah, Facebook cuz Garrett was his birthday and I was like, "Hey, like thanks for tweeting out the uh, messaging out about Metal Truck Bro." And he was like, "Hey, man, I wanted this thing to get funded." And I was like, "So do we, but like we feel like we're bugging people at this point." Yeah. I'm like I'll drink hot sauce. And they're like, yeah, we saw that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll swallow this revolver. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't pack right now. I'll I'll, four I swear bullets. To, I swear to God, I'll kill myself. I'll just poop out these bullets. It'll be awful. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, we're just going to keep it's, on. It's, it's a trial and error thing. Kickstarter. Yeah. It's not like we do Kickstarters all the time. So, so no. just, just as a, as a reminder, Bob and I did two did we do three books or two books without kickstarter um we did fredo without kickstarter and we did elvis without and kickstarter two. even though we probably should have kickstarted those as well just for like smaller amounts and i realized that the the amount is rather ridiculous and you know like i said we said in the past like that's what we have to do like that's how in order to get everybody paid and to make the book as long as it is i mean this is what this is kind of what has to be done you know so yeah, and we knew that going in that, yeah. that we might have to go back and divide it up or do whatever if it did work. But just as as potential backers of the book who are listening to this, think about it this way. We wanted to give you the book in one shot yep. um, instead of having to make you try and pay twice for it because business model-wise, it's smarter to make you pay twice for it because um, we could have we asked for like five – five to seven grand each time or whatever, whatever it costs to make eight grand, something like that each time with less pages and gotten the eight grand and then overfunded and then done it twice. And we probably would have ended up with the number we're at. It just yeah. would have looked like less, you know, it probably yeah. didn't look like less than the, the, the $666 is just us playing. Yeah. But is that, is that the way to go though? Is that the way to go to do it twice? You think? Yeah, like is that the way? Because then you're building your audience with your book. Because then you then you have a group of people that have been satisfied by your Kickstarter and by your book. And then when you Kickstart again, you can count on some of those fans, and then maybe new ones. Yeah, maybe, but it, it does feel sort of very like um, marketed, like marketing oriented instead of. Yeah, like, but I mean that's what this. But uh, yeah, but I mean that's what this business is, though. I mean, we're I think we're in the middle of that now. Once we start <coughs> buying. Once we started buying Facebook ads and things like that, then yeah, dude, we're marketing. Like we're marketers at this point. <coughs> I don't disagree with you. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, it just feels more, uh, I don't want to say shady because it's not shady. It's more oh, it's like, not shady at all. It's more corporate than we are as, as people. So we're, that, I think that's the reason why we went directly for the number because we're less corporate type of dudes. And we're like, let's just see if we can get this and get it done in one shot because it seems like the easiest route to go for everyone involved. But that doesn't mean it's the right but route. Is it though? Because like I'm looking at Skies of Fire right now, right? Okay. Like Skies of Fire, the smash hit super successful Kickstarter book. Um, they have run um what is I want to see how long this book is. Uh I mean, this book is beautiful. Pablo's drawn it. It looks fucking fantastic. Skies of Fire, Numero Uno. Um, For those it, that don't know, Pablo was Bob's first artist that he worked with on 41. Yes, he was my first artist on 41. Um, <laughs> so their first Kickstarter funded with 859 backers, right? Okay. Um, hang on. Where did it go? I lost it. 
their first starter, their first Kickstarter funded with almost a thousand backers. Okay. Um, they got from the looks of it, 800% of their goal. Um, hang on, come here let me look at this. Um, then their second Kickstarter was for the second issue of Skies of Fire, Skies of Fire number two. And they had 908 backers. Okay. And then their third Kickstarter they did for book number three, uh, issue three, had 1,192 backers. And so every time- you buy 100, 200 in, in succession, yeah. Yeah, and then you buy one, two, three, and then he did another book, and then Skies of Fire, <laughs> one through four. And so this is all four of them had 1,334 backers. And each time they're making money and their audience is growing. Uh, I, now, I they're, mean, now they're doing their actual book, like book numero uno, and they're at 332% funded with 19 days left. So they used Kickstarter for a first issue, had a, had a pretty moderate goal, and then just kind of built on their audience with that. Like, yeah, that's smart. I would say that's smart. I don't think that that's a bad business model. I, I mean, uh, Of course not, because I mean, every time they do a Kickstarter, they make, you know, 300% their goal. Well, see, but our thing, our thing was when we came to it was we wanted to get another trade. So yeah, but I but I mean, was that naivete of us because we don't have the audience that we were looking for? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes and no. You know. I would say yes and no. I would say yes because we don't have the audience we're looking for, and no be because what we were trying to do at the end was give you the full story. So yeah. it wasn't like a money motivated. Let's oh, get no. out anything. Yeah, you know. I definitely think like I think if this thing doesn't fund, I think we gotta wait like what thirty days, sixty days. We come back and then we just do a single issue, and then or maybe do the double issue like we were talking about and right. cut it, cut it to where we get it done, and then go from there. Right, and then we can do the one issue, the two issue, and then come back and try and do the trade. And do two more, you know, and then do two more and just do like every time we kickstart, maybe do like once a year where we kickstart this thing for a decent number and just kind of keep going, you know, because that, that, might, that might be the way to build the audience because the first time you get 400, then the next time you get 500 or, you know, 690, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's growth every time. So I don't know, who knows? it's hard to determine i think it is i think for the time we did the right thing so oh, no i'm not done i mean i'm not saying we we took a big shot and i'm really proud of us that we actually because you and i have talked about doing kickstarters for our other books like elvis adventures and full moon fredo and then just never getting to it and then just finding excuses not to do it and we finally found an excuse and we did it really 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 big but like this makes this makes me want to go back and do like fuck it dude let's do full moon fredo number two like let's see if angela wants to draw it and have a smaller goal of like three thousand bucks and do full moon fredo issue two yeah i don't mind doing that one because that's know? a fun book we had fun doing that and then do full moon fredo issue three and then you know and then we put the trade up and just to see what happens and just to get a print number you know yeah, I think we gonna, could do that. Because we're going to print, you know, and maybe we should have done that with Metal Shark Pro. Put one and two up there and then do three and four and then just do like a print run number for, for, the, for the trade and just go from there. Yeah, I, I, don't think that's a I don't think that's a terrible idea. There's so many questions about, about Kickstarter. Uh, it's so... It's just like pitching. I mean, there's lots of ways to do it, but is there one right way or yeah. is there several? It's just one of those things. Where <laughs> See, but the, the funny part about pitching is you only have to convince like maybe three or four editors. With Kickstarter, you have to convince 600 people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I guess that's the, the direct, you know, you're skipping the direct market and doing it the way you want to, which is kind of comic sales, you know? But I mean, I think we've done some pretty good stuff. Yeah, I think... We got a lot of really good press, like you mentioned earlier, and that was really nice to see people getting behind the book and yeah, and being into it. And um, I mean, uh, I think her name is Isha. Is it Isha? I S I S H A. Yeah, Isha. Uh, at at Geek.com wrote up a really nice article. Um, yeah. Jerry over at Nerdfix Strangers wrote up a great article. Um, and Rich over at Bleeding Cool wrote up a really good thing on on our we've we've been very fortunate then we were featured on a kickstarter where the guy called you ben france uh, whatever on the end no, i know you didn't care i thought it was funny though i did laugh where did they where did that happen at uh, the the for the love of indie 
Okay. Is the name of the Kickstarter. And he, he said, he said Ben France and I cracked up. I was okay. like, he said my name right, but then he said yours wrong. And I'm like, the name that he's likely to get wrong, he got right. The name that was easy, <laughs> to get right, he got wrong. And I just thought that was pretty funny because usually people will mess my name up, not yours. Yeah. So <clears throat> I found that funny. And then um and then and then Bleeding Cool messed up Walter's name and called him Walotter. Yeah, that was I don't know how that happened. But I, I at least I emailed Rich and I, I told him and he fixed it. So that was cool. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that was I wrote that. That was my first article that I've ever written that was published by a website. Yay! Yeah, so now I'm a published a comic book journalist. I can Are you, are you? Yeah, I'm a public comic book journalist and I'm a public comic book writer with that. You might five... take you might take Robert's job at at, uh, at Rogue's Portal if you keep it up cuz that man ain't trying to write no articles. Hey, well, he told me he was working on something and never happened. <laughs> But what else, dude? I mean, he always says he's doing that, and I'm, I'm, and, and he doesn't listen to the podcast. I don't think so. I'm going to tease him mercilessly. But he is always like, "Yeah, I've, I've got more time to write articles." I'm like, "It's about time." Yeah, do and that. Then he, and then he, he, then he, he sent me laughing faces. He's like, "Always going in." I was like, "I'm not really going in. I'm just telling the truth. There's a difference, I guess. I'm just, I'm, I'm breaking your balls because if I can find time to write comics, you can find time to write an article. That's like a few pages. Because I love you. That's why." He, I mean, for a 29 year old man, that's a tired dude. Yeah, right. <laughs> he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't he even have lot. kids. He yeah, he no. doesn't have anybody to keep up with. It's just him going to the gym. He'd be lifting. He'd be lifting mad houses and stuff. That's why, because that, that man's swole. <laughs> he is. He's real short, though. He's real. He's like a tree trunk. He's 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 like a, a weightlifting hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> Really is. You got a swole hobbit like. The bar is this way. <laughs> so I guess like it's time to, I mean we got, we've got ten days left on this thing, and I will say like we've discovered some pretty cool stuff like Facebook Live, using Facebook Live to try to move comics on a Kickstarter might not be the worst thing in the whole wide world. Hell, even if you just have like a, a fucking, online store. Like, it might not be the worst way to go. Like, hey, I got some comics, some new books coming out of my online store. Why don't you check them out? You know, it's not the worst thing in the whole wide world. When we were doing them at first, um, we, we were getting some pledges. I think we only have a certain, again, I think it's just a matter of reach. You know, we all, our reach is only but so far, you know? I, I think it's it's a combination of reach and the people who like it aren't necessarily backing it they like it but they don't want to throw anything at it and yeah. and as we've said before even five dollars helps so if you're like i like it i don't have the money to buy the book right now but i'll throw five dollars at it to make sure it gets made and then come back later and buy the book when i have more money or whatever the case may be that helps creators too and i've given five dollar pledges to things that i wanted to see get made that i might not necessarily want to read yeah as a reader uh the, just because their stuff looks good i've thrown five dollars at, at Kickstarters yeah. before uh, i've done no reward before too I'm, I'm, the, done... I'm the king of no rewards and that's just because i i as someone who has done a kickstarter i know how much going to the post office sucks and putting all the shit together well sometimes i just want to read the book though and it's selfish so i go oh, i want to read that though yeah i just figure i'll see you at a show and buy it from you or something I, I never think that. Yeah, but we've gotten, but I mean, we've gotten some cool support, man. It's been really fun. It's been really nice. We've made some, some cool, some cool friends and some nice people and we've gotten some great work done. I mean, Christ almighty, dude, like Christian Dabari drawing Metal Shark, bro, is pretty amazing to see. Uh, Javier Martin Acaba, who did uh, Blood Brothers, him and I have been chatting a little bit on Facebook. He's a really cool dude. Um, just it's just been neat man just finding people and chatting with them about the book and it's just cool it's yeah. really nice although i will say that that's a, one really cool benefit of it of what we've done with metal shark bro is like a lot of people who we would have never expected to give us pinups did and yeah half of the people we don't even know and they just said hey yeah i'd like to do this i think we we really only asked like four people to do yeah them and josh hood was one of them Chris Dabari was one of them. Um, Drew Moss was one. Paul Gorey was another. 
and I think Christopher Harris was another person that we asked, and yeah. then everybody else just did it because they wanted to or they liked. I didn't it. even know that we asked Christopher Harris. I, didn't I asked Christopher Harris at Heroes if he wanted to to do, uh, one. and I was like, you know, I, I was like, I would love to pay you for it, but you know, we gotta make money on the kickstarter so if you can't do that i understand i just want to make sure that you knew like if i'm asking you to do something that hey like i can't pay you for it because we got to make the money on the kickstarter he's like no i totally get that dude just um like if i do something if you guys don't mind writing something short for it or something I was like, yeah dude like that's something we could yeah. do that yeah. we can do trades like that that's fine and he was like yeah that would be great and i was like sure I was like, I know Bobby wouldn't mind that, so I don't mind it either. Yeah, so let's just, I mean, that's cool. that's just us writing four or five pages for you, sure. Yeah, that's the funny part about it. Like, I'm a writer right now that hasn't really been writing all that much because I've just been promoting a Kickstarter, you know? It's yeah, it feels like that for the last uh, 20 days or so. Yeah, you know? It has felt like that because it feels like I go to work, I come home, and I promote Kickstarter stuff. Yeah. Or I drink hot sauce for pledges. Well, that's all you. Well, I mean, I'm not as uh, glib as you. Oh, you could talk for four hours about nothing and I can't. So I go, I need a topic. So let's talk about something. I need, I need to drink hot sauce. You just need a microphone. Yeah. I'm, kinda, I, I'm like, I'm kind of wordy. Yeah. Like you, but you, but you, but you're good at it. So that's good. I, oh. I'm more like, well, there's nobody talking to me and I'm not sure what to say so i know i have this stupid human talent where i can drink insanely drink insanely hot hot sauce or eat insanely no they're not no that's the thing about the chips that people were like oh those aren't that hot i'm like they're hot why don't you shut your face they're hot in numbers yeah that's what I, I mean i was like i'm hoping for the whole the whole point is to get you to pledge more because the more i eat and don't have water the harder it gets to talk and the funnier this would be but it's no one's ever getting there. Like the most we're doing is like seven. And I'm like, why don't you oh. shut your face? I don't see you doing it. So go, hey, <laughs> it's just, um, and, and we got lucky because we ran this a, a shark based promotion on shark week. And I think that helped some. Well, that was just dumb luck. And I don't even know how much that helped to be honest with you. I think people, I think people that see metal shark bro go, Oh, this is fucking, this is ridiculous. I think I'm, I think I'm in. And I think I that, too, but I, mean, I don't even know how much the fucking do I like these shoes? I don't even know how much um, that shit even cares. I don't even know how much it counts. I mean, do I like these shoes? These shoes are cool, right? They're all right. Yeah. I like they, these. They look like you. I like these black ones. Yeah, those look more like you. I try to, but I, I like to try to dope it up, try to fresh it up. I don't know. I need some new kicks. Go with the black ones, huh? I'm trying to find some new shoes. These are go, 90, go with the black ones. Ninety-five dollars for tennis shoes. When did I become my dad? I'm like, that's ridiculous. I'm not spending ninety-five thousand on shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? I go to Journeys and then I look at what the, what's on sale. See, that's why I got them light-up shoes, son. See, it's fun. you have light-up <laughs> shoes. <laughs> no, you, that's what you were calling my light-up shoes, my Osiris shoes. I went to. Well, see, the funny part was we never go to the mall like with the kids and the family because <laughs> it's just stupid. But we were walking around the mall. Um, the other day, because my we had to go to the Lego store, because Sophie wanted to go to the Lego store. But I really just think it was a trick for her to go to Claire's because she's getting to that age, or like she wants to go to Claire's and do dumb shit like that. So we went to Claire's, and it was like the longest twenty five minutes of my whole life. And if you thought that it was impossible to spend twenty five minutes in Claire's, you've never been with like an overstimulated seven year old who has money in her pocket, and she's just like, oh everything in here is buy three get one free and i'm like we're gonna be here all fucking day it's like my <laughs> son's bored i'm bored everybody's bored like bobby and i are taking pictures of ourselves and like claire's has like this little cardboard cutout thing that you stick your head in and it's like a unicorn and stuff and we're just bored out of our faces and like we're both acting similar because he's five and i'm 40 and we're completely bored in claire's <laughs> and um yeah, so then we were we were I finally got out of Claire's and we're leaving the mall and we're walking through and I was like, oh, journeys. And I stopped and I saw a pair of filas, like you know, the old school filas, like the leather ones that have like that weird kind of like almost Nike swoosh on there, but it's not a swoosh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know, they're, they're yeah. like red or white or blue. I saw these old school filas. It's like, oh, these are cool. And my daughter was like, Dad, you can't go in there. Those are those are kids' shoes. <laughs> 
And I went. You've already trained her like that. I was like, I, guess I would go in there. Like, I guess you're right. This, these are, these are, she called them teenager shoes. These are teenager shoes. And I was like, oh, okay. And we left. So even my daughter knows, like, you're too old for that shit. I wear teenager shoes, Sophie. So. You're too old for that shit, motherfucker. <laughs> so. I mean, I'm going to I'm aware wear them. I don't care. You're going to bust them out. You're going to bust out your moon boots. I mean, I, I, I almost bought some pink vans. I almost, I was real close to buying some pink vans because I was like, th- those are, those are fresh. I would wear those. Yeah. So. I mean, if I found the right shoes, I would. My son I'm bought like, me. I'm a grown ass man. I, I mean, I'm wearing pink vans. <laughs> would you say your son what? Last year, the kids both got the same pair of vans. They were like space. They were tie up low, low, uh, low, what do they call them? Low top, low, low top, low top yeah. vans, and they were both space. They had space theme, like it was just like looking out into like space through a telescope, and they were so cool. But they don't make them for adults. Shit sucked. I was mad. <laughs> I thought I'd wear those things. They were dope, but whatever. That's what happens because you're an old stupid man. I mean, I I wear them pink. I wear them pink vans. Like we got our, our Word Bros logo is pink. I have yeah, a pink buddy. tie. I'll, I'll, I will wear. I'll, I'll rock them pink vans. Hell yeah, dude, do it. They're just expensive right now. I can't get them right this second. So yeah, when I looked at them, I was like, I can't spend sixty bucks on shoes right this. Yeah, second. me neither. I was like, I'll have to wait. If they're still around when I'm and they still have men's sizes when I'm done, then I'll because do it. Because we got some men sizes. You know, what would be. I just thought of a really great idea, and I'm going to tell you when we stop recording, which might be in like the next like five minutes. So don't let me forget. But yeah, man. So here we are. We're live. We're live, and we we've we've done the Kickstarter thing, and we are here to tell you that we are we are bruised and battered, but we are not yet beaten. We are never gonna lose. We're never gonna give up. Never. We, we never. Might, you might have to deal with us again. Maybe spamming you on Metal Shark Pro and and nah, thirty nah, man. I mean, like you know, man, <laughs> we we had a good time. I you know, if people are tired of it, they can just block us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some people have. Oh, I would. I would have. You would have blocked me. But, but I'm still trying to, still to get off my lawn with your Metal Shock Pro. <laughs> I'm still trying to keep it fresh every now and then by just sending out like random tweets about D&D or, you know, whatever the case may be. So whatever, man. I mean, what happened to your rogue? Like tell everybody what happened. He got killed. Why? What did yeah, you do? My wrong? rogue got killed. We were, we, we went into a room and there was four of us. And, um, but there were two like, I forget what they were called. Like there were two giant demons and then something else. And I was getting kind of, I didn't have any saving throws left and I was getting kind of worked. And uh, I was down to like nine hit points. And in fourth edition you have, I don't know how it is in fifth cause I haven't died in fifth edition yet. But like if you go to zero, then you're unconscious. But if you go to half negative, your hit point total, then you're just dead, dead. So okay. My total was 120. My dead dead is minus 60. I was at nine. And this giant demon thing kind of cornered my rogue. And there's nothing worse than if you're a rogue getting cornered because you're a rogue and you, and you have leather armor and you're not really meant to take direct hits from giant demons. So um, he did a double slam attack on me and hit me for like 75 <laughs> And that was it for you. That was it. I was dead. Dead as fuck. We're also like level 19 characters because this game has been going on for like six years. And I've just kind of hopped in the past two. I think this is my second year playing with these dudes. So it happens from time to time. Um, but yeah, I got I got worked. But now I'm going to make a bard. So I'm really excited. About oh, it. I thought you were going to make a deal with, with Bezelbra and come back as like Metal Shark Bard. Metal Shark Bard? <laughs> I don't know, dude. That'd be cool. I wanted to do that, do a fifth edition or Pathfinder character as Metal Shark Bro. Just make, we would give you a mod character of him as a bard. That'd be so cute. <laughs> He's a barbarian. A barbarian, dude. Yes. He's a barbarian bard. Here we go. Metal Shark Pro, we're trying, we're trying. Thank you so much to everybody that has contributed. It's been really great. Yeah, we appreciate everyone, everyone who's contributed, you know, even a dollar, five dollars, we appreciate all of it. And thank you to everybody that has um, shared the link or posted about the book. It's been or really drawn great. something for it yeah. or done extra work for us because we appreciate all of that and we weren't expecting any of it. Mm-mm. 
Uh, it was not expected, and and we're. I don't think we'd ever expect that. Um, yeah. So it's really nice of you, and we really appreciate it. It warms the very cockles of our dark hearts. Yes, it's very cool, man. So thank you very much. I believe we're gonna get out of here. We've rambled on long enough. We have. Um, so we will talk to you guys next week. Thank you for listening to Word Bros, and uh, we'll we'll see you on Kickstarter. Later.